All right, hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you uh, how to convert your Revo save files to and from the emulators using the official conversion tools. Apparently there's been an com official conversion tool for some time. Um, all you need is, I believe it's K1, one of these two, uh, save converter, and you also need the GBA tool, but I'll have them repackaged in the description. I'll have this link to it too if you wanna to go to the official website, but I'll have, I have them repackaged, which you can find in the other link below which has GBA tool, the two save files, and has a, my best English translation of the readme file. Uh, so what you wanna do is go ahead over to the link below, the link that says the uh, mirror link. Anyway, so um, I went ahead and downloaded those and I also scanned them. And for the other ones, it said they are actually clean. So that's very nice. And it says a few of the, a few things were found on here. And Bite Hero, never heard of it. Be it BVAC, never heard of it. But most of the virus scanners say this is clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and trust it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and start running this uh, setup. So the first thing we will need is we will need a save file from. We're gonna start out with converting a save file from the K1, because chances are you probably already have a save file on your K1 you want to translate or transfer. We'll go ahead and do the reverse afterwards. So copy your ROM file and your save file from your K1 SD card to your um, conversion folder. That will just make everything easier. Next thing you want to do is run GBA tool, which is included in the package I linked or um, re mirrored, and click the dot 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 here. And now open up your ROM file, and it will give you a bunch of information on the game. As you see, even though it's dash gray, it still shows up as fire red. Uh, we want to find out what save type it has. That's the main thing we need to do. And here we go, 128. Okay, so that should be good for our game. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Command Prompt, and simply you can do this multiple different ways: Windows key R and then CMD if you want. Then drag and drop K1 to VBA and then drag and drop your save file. And in the end, you wanna put the save type we just saw, which was 128, press enter, VBA save file, okay. So that means it made a new save file. As you see here, it's just dot .save, which means it should load up in VBA. So when we load up VBA, drag and drop our game. Pressing start, and there we go, there's our save file. Load it up quick and easily, and it's a lot easier than using the uh, other tool I showed in my last video. So let's say we did some um, actual progress in here. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run over here to the other side of the grass. Let's go ahead and save the game. Save the game. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and convert the save file back. So to convert save file back is actually easier. Um, let's go ahead and close the emulator. Okay, yeah, it's closed. So to convert the save file from our emulator to the K1, we don't need any special numbers like we saw here. So all you gotta do is just go drag and drop, again, open up command prompt, same way you did before. Windows key R, type in CMD, press enter. Now we do VBA 2K1. And now we just drag and drop our save file, which is ashgray.save. Remember, if it's .save, that means it's for emulator. If it's .gba.save, that means it is for our K1. You need to have a space in between them, of course. Uh, so it doesn't try to read it all in one line. All right, and as you see, our GBA.save file is updated to 3.11, that date modified, 3.11 p.m. So all right, let's go ahead and put it on our SD card and drag and drop it to my K1 SD card. It says overwrite. Yes, we're gonna overwrite it. Here's my micro SD card. Here's my K1 card. Previous Alien Adventures, we don't care about that. And ta-da! You can't see it very well because it doesn't show up very well on camera, but I'm actually where I was last on my emulator. I'm actually on the other side of the water. So ta-da! That works. That shows that we can take a save file from our K1 and convert it, and it worked just fine on our emulator. Then we can convert it again, and it works just fine on our K1. All you have to do, the only hard part is finding out the save file type, and that's a lot easier now than it was in my last video. So alright, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye!